Hey, 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 my wonderful Pisces. How y'all doing today? Okay, so super excited. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Kamoy, okay? Today in your reading, we are doing the energy for the portal that's about to be open for the 12, 12, 12 energy, okay? So that's December 12th, okay? So the month is 12, the day is 12. And the reason why we get the other 12, right, at the last is because when you total up 2019, you also get get the number 12 so hence it is a portal baby okay so we're tapping into your 12 12 12 energy today to see what you need to know and what you need to pay attention to okay before I do that, however, I want to say major shout out to all my subscribers. You guys have been showing me nothing but love. I swear I went on the dashboard today and I realized that I am now at 3,115 subscribers. So major shout out to all my subbies. You guys rock, okay? Now, because I have now grown to 3,115 subscribers, I have now added 15 open slots, okay, to my calendar where you guys can definitely jump on into the celebration and make a donation of $31.15, okay, and get an intuitive reading session slash coaching session with me, okay? So a 30-minute intuitive reading session slash coaching session for a donation of $31.15. Join in the celebration, y'all, okay? You guys can go ahead and you can um, PayPal me at the number four, your inner voice at gmail.com. The same way the channel is spelled at gmail.com. That's the number four, your inner voice at gmail.com. Dot com or one word okay now you can also cash at me at dollar sign k i m o y one zero six that's dollar sign k i m o y one zero six make your donation of thirty one dollars and fifteen cents joining the celebration and get your reading i'm so excited you guys you guys have been showing the love and the support okay so now don't forget also, my wonderful Pisces, that we do go live on Friday nights where you guys can come on in and join the fun. I answer questions on Friday nights. It's paid forward Friday nights, and we have a lot of fun. So join us on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? As well as you can check out the daily vibrational videos that I put up every morning at 12.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. They do go up also, okay? All right, my wonderful Pisces. So we're going to take a look and see exactly what's going on with this portal energy and what you guys need to know. What your energy is, my wonderful Pisces, as well as what the energy is that you are interacting with. Okay, honey? So now... I don't know, my energy's been popping today. It's just been a little popping. I feel good. And can I tell you, I haven't been feeling this energized for a couple of days now. Ooh, but anyway, okay, my love. So, overall energy for your reading in this particular reading, my wonderful, wonderful Pisces. You guys have the lover's card in reverse, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? Um, and you also have the shadow, course, the, the shadow card in reverse, which is the Capricorn card, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? So, this shadow card is going to represent the devil card, okay? Now... Overall energy, there seems to be some things that may not be in alignment, maybe when it comes to your love or your relationships or maybe some choices that you need to make, but there's definitely some things that's out of alignment, okay? Now, I like the fact that it is paired, however, with the devil card in reverse, okay? The reason why I like that is because what you're saying with this portal energy that's coming in, anything that's out of alignment and not matching up because this card is in reverse, the devil card is in reverse, this is saying I'm taking my power back. I am reclaiming my power and detaching myself from any relationship, any situation, or anything that no longer serves my highest good. If you're not lining up with where I what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, and you want some bullshit and some lower vibrational fuckery, guess what, Pisces? You're not fitting to deal with that no more. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at your energy, Pisces, and we're gonna take a look at the energy you're interacting with to kind of see exactly what's going on, right? Okay, sorry about that. Um, we're going to take a look at what's going on and what you need to know about your energy and maybe the energy that you're interacting with. Now, overall, for this portal that's opening, there's going to be a release of relationships, a release of thoughts, a release of um, values, 
um, making choices, getting rid of anything that no longer um, serves you. Anything that you may have felt that you've been bound to or attached to that you can't shake. This energy coming in with this portal that's being open is going to help you to release those things. And might I add, okay, this portal that we have is coming in on the freaking full moon. It's coming on the freaking full moon. And I believe the full moon is going to be in, um, uh, give me one second, y'all. Um, that full moon is going to be in cancer. That's a whole bunch of feeling energy, okay? So you about to bring some shit into alignment, okay? I'm excited to see what y'all have going on. So we got that full moon energy coming in in cancer. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, Pisces. That's pure water energy. So you're going to be tapping into some stuff, Pisces. Okay. What is Pisces energy and what is Pisces saying no longer am I being bound to? So you're definitely in contemplation. And this can be some emotional shit you're in contemplation about with this Four of Cups energy. Ah, uh, you in contemplation about the Nine of um, Cups, which is in reverse. Things not working out. Um, maybe not being satisfied. And we just talked about this status. We just talked about this, um, this satisfaction up here, you know, not, not shit, not lining up in your love life or in your relationship. So clarify. Okay. Okay. So we got, so clarifying your energy, my wonderful Pisces, you do have the four of cups clarified by the nine of cups which is then clarified by the Ten of Cups and then the King of Cups in reverse. And we're going to take a look and see exactly how that falls and where that places out. Now we're going to pull some cards for the energy that you're interacting with and see where their energy is at. So while I'm shuffling this, these cards to see what type of energy my wonderful Pisces is interacting with, you have a lot of emotional energy on this board, my wonderful Pisces. Now keep in mind that full moon is in Cancer and the portal that we're opening up is definitely going to be able to bring things into alignment, okay? Now... You definitely could have some things on your mind reevaluating your relationships or partnerships or whatever values that no longer serve you. You're about your um you're about your your ten of cups right now. You want things to come into alignment, you want your happy home, you want your money to be straight, you want your your relationships to be straight. You just want your wish fulfilled and your happiness because you may not have felt like you got that, right? This ten of cups energy in reverse, however, lets me know that there could still be some type of emotional manipulation going on around here and we're gonna get into that and see maybe why there is some emotional manipulation we gotta see what you're dealing with first Pisces to kind of like get the full story you may be dealing with a little player okay we got the page or somebody definitely that's free spirited maybe have a lot of options okay mm. And you could also be dealing with someone, not only that do they have options, my wonderful Pisces, but they're also maybe a little bit um, insecure and codependent, okay? Three of uh, pentacles in reverse. They don't really play fear together as far as teamwork is concerned. Uh -huh. Okay, and then the knight of cups. So this person could have came in. Offering you something romantic, but then really put in the work to do this. Like they lack the work or they lack the um, patience or they lack the commitment to build something and to collaborate with you, right? And that could have been my wonderful um, Pisces because honestly speaking, this could have been because of this immaturity. This could have been of this insecurity, um, this immature energy that we have going on up here. Oh, let's take a look and see. Okay. So overall, my wonderful Pisces, we do know that with this lover's card in reverse, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You are now putting an end to anything that no longer serves you and you're reclaiming your power. It looks like you were in a relationship or in a situation that did get you emotionally where you feel like you didn't get what you were, you didn't get what you were promised. You didn't get what was promised to you. You didn't get what was talked about, right? And you didn't get what was talked about now. 
I do see with this Ten of Cups and this uh, King of Cups energy, I kind of feel like you're definitely moody and maybe a little, um, I want to say emotionally manipulated when you come when it comes to communicating with this person. And I don't feel like it's emotionally manipulated to get what you want. I feel like it's emotionally manipulated to kind of like cut the blade a little bit. Like, you know, like to, to kind of like prick them a little bit, like. Mm, you fucking lied like you a liar that type of shit so I think what's going on verbally if you are giving it to them verbally and emotionally is really just to call them out in their shit and you're not doing that with a lot of tact I kind of feel you're not doing that with a lot of tact I kind of feel like Pisces you're just saying whatever fucking comes to your mouth and to your head and that's just what it is the energy that you're interacting with is somebody that may have options is somebody that may have been exploring different things because we do have the wands energy this is somebody maybe a little bit young, you know, got options, um, um, very free, like to explore, right? Um, but they're exploring, and they're exploring. This person is also emotionally or could be emotionally insecure once again, a little dependent on you. They did not play fear. They did not do the work that they came in offering. They did not, okay? They did not. Bottom of the deck for them, we do have the Ten of Swords energy. Followed by the two of swords in reverse. Hmm. What shit did they do, Pisces? They got the ten of swords followed by the two of swords in reverse. What did they do? This person is definitely in some indecision, maybe confused or overload because there was some there was some backstabbing going on, or maybe even they're a little confused because of this end. Maybe you put an end to something. But if you put an end to something, that could have been after all of the bush. Oh, bottom of the deck for you is two of cups energy. Two of cups energy clarified by the seven of pentacles. So you definitely feel, oh, uh, see, this is the shit. Okay, Pisces. You feel like at this point, Pisces, you put in the work, you put in the investment for this love. This shit may have sent you into home it though, but you have to think about some shit because with this right here in reverse, this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, not only is this slow moving energy, this is some fucking slow moving energy, but not only that, it's like we were stuck. Wasn't shit moving? Wasn't shit progressing? Wasn't nothing popping off? Wasn't nothing doing? There was a whole bunch of promises of, yeah, baby. We gonna work this out, yeah, baby. Let's work things out, yeah. We working things out. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, we gonna work. Yeah, absolutely. You know I love you, right? But then there's still some grimy shit going on. Okay, and the grimy shit that went down, as far as their concern, could just be about the decision that you made to like fuck this shit. Reclaiming my power. What? Fuck this shit. I'm reclaiming my power. Okay. And now that you've made a decision to do that, look now what's at the bottom of the deck for you. You got the sun card, okay? This is what's sitting at the bottom of the deck for you now that you've made a choice to take back your power. You no longer want to be in any type of relationship or situation that is not moving. You really don't want to be in any relationship where, where somebody is given or actually rather taken more than they've been given, okay? So you don't want to be a part of that anymore. You do not want to be a part of that anymore. You feel like you've invested some shit, especially when it comes to this relationship. And it could be love. It could be partnership, whatever it is, right? This right here is like the twin flame card, the love and soulmate card, right? But over here, your energy is on investment and love. Their energy is on indecisive energy and yeah i don't may have did some fuckery or i may have felt like you did some fuckery because there's still some energy there of um there's still some energy energy there of um betrayal right now you're like okay that betrayal shit now put me here I'm in hermit mode, right? And 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 now shit is stuck because I'm not I'm not fitting to invest any more time or any more energy in something that's not producing. It's not that's not going anywhere. That's where you are with your stuff, Pisces. Okay, Empress in reverse for them. Mm. 
this person know it's over because they sit in and they tormenting themselves about there's no fruitation here ain't shit popping off right here this empress in reverse and this is venus energy with this empress in reverse this is supposed to be all love and energy we create and we build in together not only are they not feeling that creative building together energy this shit is keeping them up at night because you this is like the the um, second relationship where I kind of feel like somebody else got ghosted. I think I did cancers and cancers straight up ghosted somebody. Straight up ghosted somebody. Bottom of the deck for them. They got their come to Jesus, come to Buddha, come to Allah moment with the six of, um, sorry, with this four of swords energy. They're in, this, they're in their head, honey. In their head. So they're in their head. And you were like, mm, I'm about to live my best life. They're in their head and you're like, I'm about to live my best life. I'm tired of the emotional games. I'm tired of the emotional, um, the emotional um, insecurity and immaturity. I'm tired of opening up myself emotionally and just getting a whole bunch of swords. So their overall energy is swords energy, which is a lot of talking, a lot of thinking, maybe all up in your head. Your energy is more in your feelings. Obviously, you are a fucking water sign. So there's a lot of water energy here. Okay. You could be dealing with a Gemini, which is an air sign. Or you could be dealing with a Pisces, which is an earth sign. Okay. You also got the sun card here. So you could be dealing with um, a Leo. Right. The sun, it could be, I say Leo because the sun, rep, this Leo is ruled by the sun, so I'm using astrology here in this, so you could also be dealing with a Leo. Okay. So we got Leos, we got Capricorns, we got Gemini, and we have a whole bunch of water energy here. And then we also have uh, the Hermit card, which is Virgo energy, which is still um, another Earth sign. Okay. So the bottom line is you over here like I'm living my best life and you feeling like you're about to live your best life because whatever was holding you back, you're now releasing it. You're now reclaiming your power. Okay, so this is the energy for you to reclaim your power. Whoever you're reclaiming your power from or whatever you're reclaiming your power from, they're sitting up here in contemplation mode. This is the come to Jesus moment. They come to Buddha, come to Allah moment. This person is definitely recuperating because you, like I said, your energy is like shutting people down, maybe with your mouth, cursing people. I don't like to say cursing people out, but telling people about themselves what it feels more like, okay? Um, whatever you, and, and it kind of feels, like my wonderful Pisces like this is not some this decision it doesn't feel like this was a decision that you took lightly like I kind of feel it kind of feels like this person really did some fuckery like they did some fuckery and it was probably not just one time you could have yeah this doesn't feel like just one time fuckery it just feel like every time you gave them a chance 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 they just did some fucked up shit Okay, now, you got the Six of Swords clarified by the Magician in reverse, okay? The Six of Swords energy is being able to move past shit. This is about knowing that you've been through some shit, but this was a rite of passage, okay? Now, the one thing I can say about this is this card, the Magician cards in the reverse, can definitely mean that you're going to have to dust off some talents. You're going to have to dust off some things um, that you tucked away, okay? Um, uh, you're going to have to, like... Go back into yourself to find the parts of you that you may have shrank for this person. That you may have tucked away and put in a box because this person didn't like the way you act. Or they didn't like the way you did this. Or they didn't like the way you say this, right? There's something within you, my wonderful Pisces, that you may have tucked away because of this relationship. That is saying now that you've moved past it, you're going to have to go back and recuperate some of the things. Letting, some of the things that you put away, okay? For some of you, this could just mean poor timing or you're still dealing with some type of manipulation. Either for you you're trying to manipulate the situation some more or it's still coming in from the person that you're dealing with okay now this could be like some type of um this could be like some type of uh i want to say like some type of emotional manipulation from the both of you so both of you could be playing um playing the sides right both sides you do have the six of swords energy in reverse and this is followed by the 
Five of Pentacles. Now, can, let me just say something. Your Six of Swords energy. Where the hell did it go? I just had the shit. Because it came out with the Magician. So, your Six of Swords energy is clarified by the Magician card. So, it's saying, pay attention. You don't have to manipulate this shit. This shit. You really don't have to manipulate this shit. Because this person clearly knows what they did. They clearly know that you're moving forward. It clearly is keeping them up at night. You no longer have to manipulate this shit. The only thing that you may have to do, Pisces, is step back into that place of you that you tucked away because of this person. Step back into that place of you that you may have... Um, not loved on in a really long time because of this person. Step back into yourself. It's time for you to regain um, self-love, self-appreciation, self-acceptance, okay? Hmm. So you're over here, right? Okay, feeling like I'm just going to move on because this could have been poor timing, poor planning. This person could have even kind of like... Um, uh, caught you at a vulnerable stage. This person could have caught you at a very vulnerable stage and came in and made some promises, but did not deliver. Okay. Now over here, they know they got caught because you're moved on because they still have the same six of swords energy. Wanted to move forward, wanted to move past it, but they move. They know. They know that you've moved on and you left their ass out in the cold. They know you moved on and you left their ass out in the cold. Their ass is out in the cold. You're reclaiming your power. Bottom line. Bottom line. You Okay, so let's just say full moons are all about being able to release things, right? And this full moon energy is coming in with this 12, 12, 12 energy, okay? Really great energy for you to release things because that 12, 12, 12 energy totals up to num the number nine. The number nine is all about completion, okay? Completion of things. You're in a position right now, my wonderful, wonderful Pisces, where you're reclaiming your power. You're reclaiming your power and you're taking back control of the things that no longer serve you you're making sure your alignments whether they're in relationships whether they're in business whether they're in love whether they're in values you're reclaiming your power and making sure that your alignments work for you somebody got left out in the cold and they're quite aware of that and you are probably being very vocal that yeah motherfucker i left your ass out in the cold now what what you gonna do what you gonna do what you gonna do ain't shit growing over here yeah and shit growing over here. I'm tired of all of sleep this sleep nights. Nice. I'm tired of all of the fuckery. Yeah, I'm fitting to live my best life. Only thing I want to say to you, my wonderful Pisces, is try not to be too manipulative with this, okay? Try not to be too manipulative, manipulative with um, your words, okay? And even uh, your intention, okay? Just reclaim your power and let leave their ass in the cold, okay? Reclaim their power. Reclaim your power and just leave them. Everybody got their own work to do. Just leave them, okay? Yep, look. For your healing, what do my wonderful Pisces need to know about their healing? What do Pisces need to know about their healing? What does Pisces need to know about their healing? What does Pisces need to know about their healing? Okay, you got the path, my wonderful Pisces. You got darkness, my wonderful Pisces. I'm going to clarify all of this. And then you got self-love. We just fucking talked about this. We got self-love, Pisces. Okay. So, the path is number eight. And the number eight card is, uh, the number eight is all about new beginnings. So, the path is all about you getting to a place in your life now where you're re-evaluating everything. Did I say that? Reclaiming your power. You're re-evaluating everything. Am I going to continue moving the way I've been moving? Am I going to continue doing the way, I mean, doing things the way I've been doing? Or does something need to change? So you definitely know that you are a, a crossroads. You're on a path. You, you know, which, which way should I go? Some of you are also feeling like you've been in the darkness for a while. You feel like, you know... Maybe not quite knowing which way to go. Maybe not quite knowing which way to turn. Because over here they're saying one thing and then you give them a chance but then they do something else. So you quite not knowing where to go. But can I tell you something? Okay. It is out of darkness that the light comes. Okay. And if you're light and you step into the darkness of yourself, don't you bring light to the darker places of yourself? Your darkness is a.k.a. your shadow side, your dark side. That's where your pain lies. That's where your resentment lies. That's where your anger lies, okay? That's where your insecurities lie. So there is, there, yeah, there is light getting ready to shine on your darkness because you are reclaiming. You're reclaiming all your power. 
power in love, power in manifestation, power in how you're treated, power in how you treat others, okay? Why are you reclaiming your power? Because you're about to tap into some self-love. You're about to tap into some self-love. All right. It kind of feels like you gave this person one too many chances and then you just fucking done. You, yeah. And they know it. They, they absolutely know it. I did not go back to look at the titles for your other video. I'm just going to just, you know, title the video based on this energy. You are reclaiming your power and you left somebody ass out in the cold. It's time to love yourself. That's this. That's it's time to love yourself. Yep. Okay. Reclaiming your power. Time to love yourself. Okay, my wonderful Pisces. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget. Okay, y'all. We go live on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you guys can come on in and join us on Fridays where we do jump into the chat and answer questions. Okay? The daily vibrations are also posted at 12.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. So you guys can either find them here on my podcast. I mean, here on YouTube or on my podcast. All of the links to the podcast will be in the description box below. Now. To celebrate all 3,115 subscribers, I do have 15 slots available because I did add four more days um, this month to my calendar for readings. So there are four more days that I've, um, I'm just locking out for the 15. Anyone that wants to take advantage of the 15 slots that's available for a donation of $31.15, you guys can come on in and join that. Um, just hit me up via PayPal, which is the, um, the number four, your inner voice at gmail.com. The same way my channel is spelt, okay, all together, one word at gmail.com. That's my PayPal. Or you can cash at me at dollar sign K I M O Y 106, okay? You can cash at me. And just type in celebration. Make sure you have an email address where I can send you the link to make your um your appointment and get on the calendar. And we can get all up into yours and kind of map out exactly what this 2020 energy is about for you, okay? So I'm super excited for all of you, or 15 of you, that's going to be taking advantage of this um, special. And... Once the, once the 15 slots go, guys, I still am running that $50 special uh, for the holidays, okay? So if, you're, if you don't get a slot with the thirty-one fifteen, you can still get in on the holiday special for um donation of $50, okay? So let's see. The slots are there for you guys. Take advantage of that. All right. Okay, my wonderful Pisces. Guys, make sure you do something kind for yourself. Make sure you be nice and kind to yourself first, okay? Uh, make sure you love yourself. And I will see you guys in your dailies tomorrow as well as your next individual reading next week, okay? Full moon, releasing, reclaiming your power. Love you guys. Bye, my wonderful Pisces.